This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. It is even possible to nest your lookup formulas, thus using one lookup to calculate another part of a different lookup. This can be extremely useful when you're trying to effectively match up a column and a row and pick out a value where they meet. If we take this nested lookup file as our example, now there is a sheet in here called shift data that shows dates across the top for just one week in April. Then there's this little clever row here that I'll explain shortly. And then we have four job roles, chef, commie, waiter and bar, and who is carrying out that task for each of those given days. Now what we'd like to do in the working data is effectively use this table and fill in the employee. So who's going to be the chef on April the 4th? Who's going to be the commie on April the 4th? Who's going to be a waiter on April the 4th? Etc. all the way down for the rest of this week. Now that will require us to take effectively both these values, go into the shift data, look up the date and come down, look up the job role and come across. Now in order to do that, we're actually going to nest two lookups, one inside the other. So here, to find the employee, we need to carry out a VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. We're going to take the task, and we're going to go look this up in the employee lookup table, comma. So we're going to go into that second sheet in the shift data. We're going to look down the first column and find chef, and then we're going to go across. But which of the columns does it then grab the data from? Well, in order to decide that, we're going to replace here the call index num, as Excel refers to it as, number of the column you are after with another lookup, this time with a H lookup. So H lookup, open brackets. Let's take the date, come up and go look that up in the date lookup table, date LU. And from that little lookup table, bring back whatever is stored in row two, come up with false, because it must be an exact match. So this whole H lookup here is replacing a single number that you would type in, you're going to, need to calculate which column to bring back. So then to finish our VLOOKUP, we choose comma and false again, because the chef part here has to be an exact match. Close, return, and we find that Bob is the chef on April the 4th. If we look in the shift data, Bob is the chef on April the 4th. Now the clever bit here, if we examine the two lookups, is the employee lookup is this table here. So it comes in, finds the job role in this column, and then brings back whichever name matches the correct column. But for it to calculate the correct column, we're using a H lookup on the date LU, which gives us our date. So we're looking along this row for the right date. Bring back row two, which is here. That's our clever bit. That's the column number that we are currently in. So that's how it knows to bring that the values from this column, because we started numbering them here as two, because that's one. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we use the H lookup along the top to bring back the column reference number. That column reference number is then inserted into the V lookup so that when we then look up the job role, so perhaps waiter, we're bringing back the correct column. So in our working data, we can take that formula and replicate it for the rest of that week. And we see that works fine. So if we have a quick test, waiter on April the 8th is Jane. April the 8th so it's looking for column six waiter it's jane it works swimmingly and then just as a double check over here we've got a little table using a count if as we've seen before that looks down the employee column and counts how many times bob appears there effectively so over the course of this week bob is working four shifts mike four sarah three sally three jane five etc 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 give us a total of 28 shifts. If there's four job roles over seven days, four sevens are 28. That's our little double check there. And we can see how many shifts people are working, whether they're working too much or not enough. So this is a double lookup. We're using the H lookup here to calculate the correct column for our V lookup. And then we get the right information back from our table by using that. Effectively, we're using a cross match of the table.